In 2002, at the foot of the reserve, 30-year-old Aaron planned to go up to the mountain to look for something. After lunch, Aaron put on his cotton clothes and took Kev with him and went out. In fact, Aaron had not been to the mountain for a long time, and he would not have risked going into the mountain he had not heard that someone had found Ganoderma. He had heard that there was a Ganoderma in a certain ravine. Accidents happen all the time, and when he went to that ravine, it was snowing and getting heavier. The mountains were particularly dangerous at that time. After about half an hour, Aaron finally saw the ravine, so he couldn't help but pick up his pace. At that moment Kev suddenly stopped, and suddenly became alert and kept growling in one direction. Kev had lived with him, for more than five years and was very smart, he thought it might have noticed something was wrong. In Aaron's confusion, there was a loud bang, even the snow on the tree trunk was shaken off. The whistling instantly made Aaron's heart beat faster and Kev felt nervous, and let out a whimper. What Aaron felt more frightened, and panicked was the sound of the tiger approaching. Without hesitation, Aaron took Kev and climbed a big tree. With the tiger so close, it was impossible to escape. Standing on the trunk of the tree, Aaron looked around and saw a Manchurian tiger. Looking in the direction of the advancing Manchurian tiger, Aaron was instantly alert. He saw a brown bear in a hole in a tree not far from the ground, one meter high. Strangely, however, the brown bear didn't move a muscle. Aaron was puzzled at first, but then he knew that the bear was hibernating. In fact, the bear woke up a long time ago, but the bear was giving birth, so it did not want to fight with the fierce tiger, but the tiger took the initiative to walk over. A few minutes later, the tiger finally couldn't resist coming to the hole, and opened its mouth to bite the brown bear. At the moment the tiger opened its mouth, the brown bear moved and raised its paw to slap the tiger's head. Although the brown bear was vulnerable at the time, it was not necessarily eaten by the tiger. However, the brown bear gave birth to a brown bear cub, to harden the cub fell on the snow. The brown bear froze for a moment, however, it lost its chance to fight back. The tiger took the opportunity to bite the bear's neck, even though it was scratched by the bear in some parts of its body. After a while, the bear stopped struggling and looked like it was going to die. When the bear was dead, the tiger slowly let go of its mouth. It licked its blood-covered mouth, and intended to enjoy its meal. Aaron, standing in the tree, felt scared. He had grown up here, but it was the first time he had seen such a shocking scene. He took a deep breath, looked at the tiger that was enjoying its meal, and planned to take Kev and leave. He no longer cared about the Ganoderma, but just wanted to stay alive. Just as Aaron was about to go down, the accident happened again. It turned out that a male brown bear woke up in a tree cave not far away. Since it was not prepared in the fall, it was not in a good state to hibernate and the tiger's roar just now woke it up completely. Unfortunately, it was the mate of the brown bear that had just died. When the male arrived, it found its wife dead and about to be eaten by the tiger. The male brown bear let out an angry roar, and charged directly towards the tiger, looking very vicious. It pounced directly on the tiger, and although the tiger was not afraid of the male brown bear, it intended to leave, thinking it wanted to stay alive as long as possible. After a few rounds of fighting, the tiger suddenly ran off into the distance, but the male bear wasn't about to give up and roared after it. The male bear was huge, but it was very agile, so the tiger couldn't get rid of it easily. After they left, Aaron came down from under the tree to take Kev with him. When Aaron was about to leave, he suddenly thought of the two brown bear cubs. After hesitating for a while, he walked towards their cave, and came to the brown bear's corpse. Aaron endured the discomfort and approached the two brown bear cubs, one of which 
was already dead while the other was still struggling in the snow and appeared to be dying. Eren felt sorry for them, and that they had lost their mother at birth and their father was in danger, so he put the bear cub in his arms and left. But just then, the tiger whistled again. Eren looked in the direction of the sound, and saw that the tiger had returned, and was staring at him from a distance. Just as Eren didn't know what to do, the male brown bear roared. After they got into another fight, Eren had a chance to escape. Without the slightest hesitation, he left. As Eren had predicted, the male bear did not hibernate, but kept looking for the tiger that killed its wife. A month passed and the bear and the tiger were still fighting in the mountains. During that month, Aaron's rescued bear cub survived. The bear cub almost died when it was rescued, but Aaron took good care of it and the bear cub survived and was the size of a dog. Aaron gave it a name, Jail. Originally Aaron just took pity on it, but after a month, he found that he had become attached to the bear cub. After that, Aaron completely treated the bear cub like family and took care of it every day, just like a child. Any animal has feelings, and after Aaron treated the bear cub with such sincerity, the bear seemed to feel his kindness and rushed up to hug Aaron's leg after seeing him. Not only that, the bear cub was very intelligent and quickly understood some simple commands. During that time, however, the mountains were chaotic. The battle between the male bear and the tiger lasted from winter to the following spring. The tiger was destined to escape the male's attack, and when the tiger was on guard, a roar suddenly sounded behind it, and the male pounced on it and scratched its back. After a few rounds, the male brown bear got the upper hand and ran away. The tiger stumbled for a while, roared and chased after it, intending to start a duel with it. They chased each other, roaring through the mountains. They soon reached a cliff and the male brown bear looked at the cliff, and then roared at the tiger. It deliberately lured the tiger in, but what it didn't expect was that the tiger really took the bait. Looking at the tiger, the male bear hugged it, and rolled it towards the cliff. When the tiger reacted, it was too late. They rolled down together with the boulder. The male wanted revenge, but it didn't know that tigers are for lines, and are very easy to balance in the air, and that the cliff wasn't very steep. After falling off the cliff, the tiger felt pain and then roared at the male brown bear, that was struggling on the ground. It felt angry because it was being counted. When the tiger intended to kill the male brown bear, a roar suddenly came from not far away. A man and a brown bear came running. It was Jail and Eren who were picking medicine nearby. Looking at Eren, the tiger instantly became fierce. It knew he was the one who took the brown bear cub away. That's why it was in such a mess. The tiger was also wounded, and after staring at Eren for a while, it turned away. Perhaps because of the lineage, Jail immediately pounced on the male brown bear's side and wailed. He checked on the male brown bear, and found that it was not in a life-threatening condition. The male was very obedient and just kept sniffing Jail as Eren rescued it. The male brown bear regained its mobility in the evening. Eren was going to give Jail to the male brown bear, but it refused. Perhaps it had to seek revenge on the tiger. Three years later, Jail grew up and became accustomed to life in the mountains. One afternoon, Aaron finished picking medicine and said goodbye to Jail, then went down the mountain. However, it did not know that there was a tiger staring at him, in the grass in the distance. When he returned home, Aaron heard a tiger whistle just as he put down his tools. He was pounced to the ground before he could turn around. Looking at the approaching tiger, Aaron felt desperate. At that moment, a roar suddenly sounded, followed by the yard fence being broken by jail, followed by a bigger brown bear, which was its father. They quickly entered the battle. The tiger was the king of all beasts, but in the face of two adult brown bears, it had no choice but to run away. Jail stood up and let out a howl of victory. All things have feelings, 
and we live with animals on earth, so we should get on well with each other. When we encounter animals in trouble, we should do what we can to help them. Nature is the home of all creatures, and humans, as the masters of nature, must take good care of the environment. That's today's story. Click to subscribe for more interesting